Good morning, my name is Lukas Salasnic. I will present uh, recent results I obtained in collaboration with uh, Luca Barbiera and Boris Malomed. As you probably know, ultra-cold atomic gases are now routinely produced and trapped in optical lattices. They are an ideal platform to study dynamical properties of many body quantum systems. Atomic bosons in a quasi one dimensional optical lattice are very well described by the one dimensional Bose Hubbard Hamiltonian given by equation 1. In this Hamiltonian, capital J is the tunneling energy, capital V is an additional external axial potential, and capital U is the on site interatomic interaction strength. These parameters can be controlled during experiments with a high level of accuracy and flexibility. In our paper, we investigate the dynamics of initially localized cloud of bosonic atoms in a tilted optical lattice, obtained with the additional axial potential of equation 2. Moreover, we consider a nonlinear barrier, induced by a site-dependent interaction strength shown in equation 3. By using a time-dependent density matrix renormalization group method, we study numerically the time evolution of the bosonic cloud in the optical lattice. Initially, the bosonic cloud of atoms is placed at the edge of the left part of the lattice. The tilt drives the particles towards the central interaction zone. Some atoms are reflected after the collision with the nonlinear barrier, while other atoms are transmitted into the right-hand side. We find that the nonlinear barrier induces an anomalous quantum reflection and transmission of incident wave packets. In particular, a sufficiently strong nonlinear barrier reflects only bosonic components with multiple on-site occupancies, while single occupancy components are transmitted. In other words, for a large nonlinear strength, the transmitted wave packet has no more than one particle per site. This property resembles the scattering of a classical waves on a nonlinear potential barrier. Weak incident waves pass it, while large amplitude ones bounce back. The paper reports detailed numerical results for different values of the physical parameters. In the paper, one also finds an extended discussion of the adopted one-dimensional bose hubbard hamiltonian and numerical procedure. Now, I suggest you to read the paper. Thank you very much for your attention.